Well hello people and welcome back to part 16 of Eggenborough House City Scanners 2 series. I hope you're having a wonderful day. We're looking across the new expanded countryside of whiskey that we've expanded on our live stream where the full VOD is available on the live tab on the channel if you'd like to come check it out. Some really nice additions to Eggenborough's countryside. Really enjoyed it so thanks for your support. But today we're going to finish Inverneg and begin tying some network connections together for the eventual town of Bourbon. So let's get started shall we? So I thought we'd start today's episode by introducing uh, some commercial along the currently undeveloped waterfront in Inverneg. And I've got an idea here of what I want to do with sort of a, I guess a bit of a strip mall design I suppose. Uh, I just want to sort of compare parking lot sizes here. Yeah, I think we can get away with two mediums, even that might be a little bit of overkill. But we'll see what happens with it anyway. So I want to grab some alleyway roads here and... I want to really snap into the grid, quite obviously. Yeah, that's pretty much perfect. Uh, and then just get some commercial growing along here. Now, I don't really want the commercial to grow with its own parking. I think to help with that, we'll keep the zonings relatively small. And then it looks like this little alleyway here will continue into the current existing road hierarchy, won't it? Yeah, a little bit something like that, I think. And I guess we could carry on this parking design here as well. I don't think I'd be totally averse against having it under the train bridge. So in today's episode, I also want to do some um, planning for Bourbon. Not a full road network frame, because I think that's going to come uh, later on as its own standalone build. But certainly some networks to tie over there. Also want to wrap up our crematorium here as well with some roads, I think. Maybe a touch of office down here as well. We do have pretty insatiable office and industrial demand in the city at this point. And then I think with this space here, we'll just let this become uh, green. But I think we've got low rent housing here, don't we? This is low rent. Which we currently do have a little bit of demand for. And there's not a vast amount of low rent housing across the city. Although this is waterfront, so maybe we should do some apartments here, actually. Yeah, I think we'll get the occasional apartment block growing. Pick out those larger spots where we can see them. Maybe some 3x3s three always go down quite nicely for apartments, I think. Cool. And while this is growing, uh, we'll continue to really heavily forest and tree line uh, our waterfront. And just have some nice pathways meandering through here. Try and save some of those rocks. Hopefully one day we will be able to place some rocks ourselves. But otherwise, all those pathways can link up to pedestrian crossings where it makes sense maybe we can even do like a little viewing pier down here maybe let's grab some of our piers and then we'll come straight out on an angle increase our elevation as well something like that so then we kind of get a viewing deck um there's some pretty flexible ways we can use these walking paths also seen Imperator do some really nice things using these as like a marina sort of thing. It's really nice. Um, obviously you're watching Imperator, wonderful, wonderful creator. But, uh, let's have that as a little viewpoint, mate. Come and enjoy the view over here from the lake. And then I think also what I want to do here, because this roundabout doesn't have its fourth connection in, I think we'll bring in another slip road off of the highway here. And then uh, we also need to give a high school to Inverneg as well, uh, which we will develop a little campus for that. Uh, and then we'll head over towards those bourbon networks too. So I'm envisioning it coming out from here. We'll do this as two lanes as it approaches the junction. Up to about there I reckon. And we'll slip down into one lane. And then I want this to meander into the slip lane as such. And then of course just reverse its direction. And upgrade that section there too. Wonderful. Oh, the owl growing <laughs> covered in bloody car parks, aren't they? Look at that one. That one's like all car park, isn't it? I feel like that's a new generation. I don't feel like I've seen that one before. But uh, I am a fan of the hedging behind it, though. I have to say that. Uh, why don't we try to bring some high-density commercial in here as well, then, to try and justify the amount of car park we actually have over here. Um, although, am I happy with that? Yeah, fine. Got some parking up alongside that as well. Now, this road here, I think we're going to tunnel this under and bring it out the other side. 
Uh, but for that to happen first, I want to make sure we have our high school in, which is going to sit here, I believe, uh, nearby to the Smelly Gits campus. We did a couple of episodes ago. So we'll upgrade this into regular road so we can zone on it. And it's going to go back to highway at some point. This is going to be one of the main roads into Bourbon that's going to connect with this one. So let's place that high school down. Uh, we'll come on to... We want it here. And I think we're going to have to terraform that a little plateau for it out because I don't want all this slopiness on it. So let's see what sort of terrain layers we're actually playing with here. And we'll push it all out to this one. Probably push the high school a little bit back off the road as well. Uh, I wouldn't mind also having the running track on it too. I think that's going to be quite cool. Sort of using the running track with these elevated networks around it. Be quite a nice drive into the town, I think, approaching from the highway. So let's give this a road. We'll go for just a regular road. I don't think there needs to be any more fancy than that. And then we'll turn off our road snapping and align this with the tip of the road. Help if I actually have <laughs> the building facing the right way. Yeah, about that's going to be pretty decent, I reckon. Yeah, so we'll grab its upgrades. And uh, now I'd love. Yeah, there's not enough room on that side, is there? Let's have it over here instead then. Let's push more terrain away. We will blend it back in. Actually, it might be quite nice kind of driving past this road as it's slightly elevated above the high school campus there. I think I will enjoy that. I'll probably redraw that road in with a slightly better slope there as well, I think. Push that back up there. Yeah, that seems like a little more natural, doesn't it? And that can go up there then. And we still maintain that slight elevation above the... Um, school field so you can see it as you drive past and then we'll grab some of those alleyway roads too uh, actually no let's use the proper road here to connect in those car parks I do like the way the texture it sends there actually uh, is there any of the extensions we want on this that one's an internal one isn't it and that's the extension wing anyway how does that we're still screaming for elementary school i know there's kind of issues with that at the minute with the amount they hold but uh, we've got insane demand for it. We'll need to get some more in. And if we have that there, can we add a little roundabout on the end of it? Maybe if we extend it a touch further past the building. Just to have it function as like a little turnaround point. Yeah, be happy with that. And then we can just re-soften all this land around it now so it doesn't look quite so obviously man-made. Blend it back into the terrain a little bit. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And then I'd also like, out here as well actually, um, another sports field with them, probably American football. See if we can hug this around the back of the building and we'll give them a, not a soccer field or American football. I think American football blends a little nice with the running track, doesn't it? It looks like it already has American football markings on it as well, doesn't it? Oh yeah, the goalposts are there too. Yeah, okay, I'll be happy with that then. And I guess I might also want to provide a little bit of parking over this side as well, perhaps. Let's see what we can provide there. I think large parking lot's going to fill that space perfectly, is it? I think it is, isn't it? Very cool. And then I reckon also a little road around the back of this asset here, just to the edge of that concrete texture. So it looks like it's there for a reason. So cars can maybe arrive at that point at the, at the arena. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. And then I do still want to maintain that little tiny cute roundabout that was on the end. As a turnaround point, in case anyone wants to just loop around and get back out. And I reckon also some tree lining and a touch of grass as well, just on one side of the road. Obviously not where they drive across there either. Yeah, we'll have that there and then get some more trees around the whole campus itself. That should give a pretty nice impression as we're sort of driving by here as well. Blends quite nicely into the uh, Geology Institute, doesn't it? Very nice. How are you feeling about this high density over here, too? It's alright, I suppose, isn't it? It's alright. I reckon we'll have another block of it here, too. And this road here is going to come out of here now. Let's go for... Four lane. We'll have our topography lines on here, too. I'd like to keep it roughly in line with the waterfront. And let's decrease our elevation here. 
So about there, I reckon, is where we want to go under, I think, isn't it? And then, as long as we come under... Yeah, it's not a horrendous approach there, is it? We're not playing with any awful gradients. And then what I'd like to do is actually grab the layer of height where the road goes underground and place it here. This way, it's just going to make sure it comes out at a sort of similar height. So it's come underground to there, and then let's merge back above ground from this point. It doesn't look quite right, does it? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Let's just recorrect that. Yes, that's more of what I'm after, I think. Yeah, and now let's begin to slope up. So we'll grab this height here, and we'll create a slope here. We'll also slope up to this height as well. And then this is where I'd like these networks to start converging. So we'll bring this one straight up. So grab this one as well. So there's also a train line here as well that I'd like to bring over. That's eventually going to hook in with this line over here. However, that has to cross a shipping lane which I have placed. And there's currently an issue in the game with drawing uh, train lines across shipping lanes because it generates the pillar in the middle of the lane. It's very ridiculous. It used to be fixable or kind of cheesable, I guess, with um, a little bit of sort of finagling with terrain and terraforming. However, that has now been patched and it can't be done anymore. So we need to wait for that to be fixed before we can connect the trains back to whiskey. Essentially, it's very, very annoying, but it is what it is and we can't do too much about it. So the train line will remain unconnected until we can do that. But we'll still bring it into Bourbon and have a train station there. But the next thing I want to do is actually create the bridge crossing that comes out of Whiskey um, across the Firth into what will eventually be Bourbon. And for this, I want to use the Grand Bridge. So we'll spend four points on intersections and then eight on the Grand Bridge itself. And it's going to come out of here. So let's see what this is going to look like. So I don't want it to be immediately bridge. I want to do a little bit of terraforming here to allow the road to continue a touch. And this is going to be a guideline here a second, and we'll do also cell length too, get in the middle, and cell length back on. We'll have a stretch of 80, might even be tempted to upgrade that into the divide. And now I want the grand bridge to touch down sort of at the same height, so I want to grab this height where the bridge leaves whiskey. Bring it over to here so we'll create this big plinth of land for the bridge to land on. This will also create some really nice layers um, through bourbon as well as this big arterial comes through the middle of it. It should look quite cool in the end I think. So we'll grab it ourselves. Let's go ahead and get Grand Bridge now. So I haven't actually used this one before. It should be pretty nice. So we want to line it up right in the middle. Now again this one's got across the shipping lane as well but thankfully its pillars are much further apart which makes it much easier for us. We want to bring the bridge across until it snaps in those new pillars and then we want to bring it back just to about there. Roughly about there I think is where I want it. Just have a little analysis of how that sits across the river. Um, I'd love to see a boat go under it if possible. These ones are heading back to Navaria, of course, which makes me smile every time. <laughs> I do love that we can rename our outside connections now. But they're going under it just about, actually, aren't they? But, uh, it's pretty cool. I like that. So now I want to bring this land up to just where this bridge starts to come down. So let's grab that contour line. Seems pretty much level with it, doesn't it? So we'll allow this one to now hold the arterial as it flows through a bourbon. Of course, we want it to slope as well. It's not going to be this huge embanked network. We'll slope it up from there. And we want it to eventually sort of converge with this one. So it's going to come down here and then take kind of a, a camber to the right and then link up with that one there. And obviously have multiple different connections as well. Really interested to see how many people choose to use this connection back into Whiskey once it's available. We'll slope this up. All the way through here, make it quite wide as well because we'll blend it back into the landscape. There we go, soften all that back out too. Same through here, let's come back to that four lane divided road now. Come back down to zero meters. We want to make sure we're right in the middle. And then it was 80 meters, wasn't it, that we came off 
on the other side so that should make our bridge somewhat equal either side as well and we can see where that terraform has just affected the pillars so simple case of just softening that back out once you've done your terraforming work look a little more natural there we go it'd be pretty cool to have maybe some um roads coming under here at some point but we'll we'll see how possible that is once we get to it cool so this can now come all the way through here and again we'll do an episode on probably the road network of bourbon because it's going to be so much more american inspired and um, which i think the game is kind of geared up more toward if you like in terms of planning and road networks is the american style and we'll spend an episode planning out bourbon's road network i think and now just where this slope begins to come in let's grab a nice wide one and we'll just smooth that out and i reckon a big free form curve and a road guide line should see us through here probably i reckon we'll also upgrade some of these roads here as well especially on the approach to the bridge we'll have some trees and grass too it's going to become quite a key feature of the city i think this bridge i think once it's got all the american style town on the other side of it as well and at some point join that road network frame as well we'll bring an interchange out here as well to connect into the arterial at some point maybe even use one of these new ones to do that they're very big <laughs> these ones aren't they absolutely massive actually blend that one in pretty seamlessly there can't we a dumbbell connector in oh, i'm quite tempted to do that now oh i don't know <laughs> we'll um we'll see what happens anyway let's get everything else connected in these are now connected our big american town is going to lie around this landmass and it should be quite a cool climb as well because we're very gradually climbing up toward the town of whiskey when it's all said and done that big layer of height should really pay off so the next network we want to prioritize is the train line which i think is going to be ever so slightly elevated slash embanked from its current position either that or we have a rail crossing because i think a, a rail crossing in an american town is quite a distinctive vibe isn't it i wouldn't mind having that there i guess it's not going to be a horrendously busy rail line it's not going to be carrying um, intercity trains this will be an internal line at one point but i think having it embanked is going to allow us to do some pretty cool things with bourbon's train station that i have in mind so i think we will actually embank it so i'd like to obviously maintain the same um, axis as the road guideline so let's come down to that first embankment stage which is there We'll keep it embanked as it approaches whiskey although we have elevated there haven't we i don't want to do that keep it in shorter segments so we maintain that embankment that road guideline and grid is going to start messing with us here as well so we'll turn that off and we can just cross in one easy step like that can we is the game actually going to play fair no awkward bumps no that's, that's pretty cool actually Cool. so if that's that in as i said we can't get this to cross the river yet because of the stupid shipping lane incredibly irritating i really hope that that's addressed sharpish in the next patch but uh, we will at least prepare the train line to go that way it goes to delete some of these awkward power lines where we draw them in and it can do a big swoop over that general direction is where i eventually envision it will flow to and then let's not forget to reinstate this power cable as well because it is carrying external power there we go and then hopefully this will just be a nice straight sensible connection back down to earth i'll tell you minus 2.5 percent gradient hopefully that's not going to be too horrendous for trains it looks pretty sensible to me doesn't it i think it does but yeah we'll do some kind of embanked train station design um around bourbon at some point but at least that network is now connected and then let's not forget the other little rural ones as well and um, there was one coming out here wasn't there which is currently national road so we'll we'll do that one with two lane highway let's keep this going pretty much on a straight trajectory and then as we develop that road network frame episode we can turn these into more significant arterials do very different slip lane sort of designs and We'll take a look at some different sort of American style junctions as well, like the is the New Jersey 
handle or something like that, but like the, the jug handle interchange and different intersections to help keep traffic flowing. So we'll do some fun things over there as well. Like when we come to do the road network episode, which are always a lot of fun, aren't they? Maybe highlight some more important areas of the street there as well. Cool. Well, there we go. There are some people now traversing at the bridge, which is really cool. I'm happy to see that. Attempted to upgrade this into six lane as it moves across into the American side of town. Give it four lane in whiskey. There's also the possibility as well to extend the trams that actually go up to the Edinburgh Royal Mile up there. And to extend that tramway all the way down and actually cross it over the bridge. I'm assuming this bridge can have tram roads on it. I've actually never tried. It can indeed, which is quite exciting actually. Should we do that now? We get that train flowing. Or tram, sorry. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So we'll have it come all the way down here. And I guess it just... Where does it actually go? On the outside of the bridge, isn't it? Okay. So come right across the bridge. All the way down here. I'm happy with that. And then just temporarily right now, we'll create that little tram loop. And then I... Bet we'll place the train station around this and make a little transport hub out of the train and the trams. Bring some buses over to as a little build for Bourbon. So we'll stick a tram stop there. We'll have it stop on the bridge as well. Not that anyone's going to use these just yet, but at least they're there. Uh, we can actually reconfigure this tram system now as well. It doesn't need to come down here anymore. Uh, we'll have it stop outside the welfare office and the green belt. And then that should do it. So let's grab ourselves this tram loop. We'll send it right down to the bottom station. And then we'll have it stop at these now. So those are the stops we want. And then we'll also do it one there and one there. And then it should then continue back down. Yep, stopping at the current stops. So, I'm actually quite interested to know now. Are you okay? Why do you have no access all of a sudden? You've been fine for 16 episodes. <laughs> well, well, what's wrong? You're, you're still functioning, at least you're still okay. We'll, we'll leave it as it is. So, this tram line now changes. It goes from West Whiskey to Central Whiskey, and then it will eventually now go to Bourbon as well. The length is 9.2 kilometers. Wonderful. Let's uh, take a little ride with it, shall we? It's got three dogs on it. I love that it shows that. Uh, that was not <laughs> what it was supposed to do. I don't know what it was doing there. I think we messed up the lines, haven't we? But uh, quite a cool approach across that bridge, isn't it? I do like that. Yeah, I'll stop here and carry on down. I'm happy to see this road, though, taking pressure off that dual carriageway. Yeah, what was happening here? <laughs> that is that is not what's supposed to happen. You're supposed to approach this junction on your way back. Is that set up now? I think it is. Let's just make sure. Yeah, they're stopping there now on the way back through. Why is it doing that? That is a little weird, isn't it? Is that because this stop is just too close to the road there? Let's add it in here instead. Delete that. And then stop here. That should hopefully stop that, I think. We'll wait and see. Yes, there we go. It was just reversing back onto the side of the road, I think, because it was too close to the edge of the road. Definitely is working now. I really like the way this, um, this side of whiskey turned out, the town centre. Nice, yes, I totally could probably do, because I did say we'd... Um, up zone a lot of this area, didn't we, into current demand. So this row housing now probably should be replaced with larger apartment blocks as density becomes the order of the day. Let's delete them. We'll get a new apartment block growing. Uh, and I guess we should probably do the same here. So let's dezone. Dezone it in blocks and then pause and grow. We will upzone some areas of Whiskey Town Centre. That's going to bring some more height in for us. I imagine these row houses now on the edge of town it will also be the ones to uh, up zone as well when we eventually need some more doing. So uh, not enough customers. Those new apartments should see to those warnings. 
And we've also got some waiting for hearses as well. So there is still a lot of rent problems, but I'm pretty sure this is still bugged. We had an experience on the stream. I think it was this house here, actually, wasn't it? So this house is complaining of high rent. There's a poorly educated, retired senior. And then there's a highly educated, unemployed adult. Which begs the question, who is paying the rent? <laughs> so you don't really know which one to, to adjust. It's a strange decision, I think, to still be charging people based on education level. But whatever, we won't get into that debate again, right? Cool. So the system's flowing now. There are people actually waiting to get on the trams here as well, further into, into whiskey, which is good. Uh, and now across the river, uh, into the current very basic frame of bourbon as well, which is nice. I do want to test one thing while I'm here, actually. Um, I imagine I'd want a hospital here at some point, too. just want to see how this asset fits, because there's also another one we haven't unlocked yet, which I think I want to use. Yeah, the disease control centre is a, a big old chungus building, isn't it? So we'll probably give Bourbon that kind of um, sort of super infrastructure, I think. Very big American sort of vibes. It's quite a contrast of whiskey across the other side of the river, I think. But uh, this one's a pretty nice asset, isn't it? I do like it. They are very big, the new assets, aren't they? But that's a build for another day, anyway. Oh, everyone hated that. <laughs> they all gave me. A thumbs down, oh dear. How's our bus station in Whiskey doing now as well? 51 passengers waiting here, not 58, just go up and down, doesn't it? But, uh, nice little busy bus hub developing around here now. Definitely feed some more buses as well from this over to Bourbon at some point too. Probably stick another bus station out and then we can fan loads of buses out over to Inverneg, eventually meeting up with train station over here as well, which is uh, crazy busy already that we saw last episode and then there'll be a new train line here that goes across up to this level and all those networks have become very active <laughs> it's going to be very exciting really looking forward to getting into bourbon and having kind of another major metropolis center because Inverneg isn't that busy or dense um compared to what bourbon's going to be probably going to stretch from the top of like port whiskey here and right down to the highway so it's going to be a big town probably about a similar footprint size to Whiskey, I think, if not a little bit larger, eventually. Of course, Whiskey still has to expand across here yet as well. So uh, that's going to get a little bit bigger too. Uh, but either way, it does feel like a good place for some time lapse in, because I want to come over here as well and add some low density kind of hillside houses that look out across uh, Inverneg Town. I think that's be a nice little spot for some houses here. I also want to bring across a little slip lane here, which we will do together. I just want to see how that's going to perform. So probably from like where it touches back down to earth here, can we get across there? Uh, not in rail crossings, certainly not in 10 meter intervals either. And um, let's actually terraform its landing point back down as well. So if we can have it at the same height, where is that height layer there? There, isn't it? So if we come off this one here, how does the game like that? Actually, it does like it, doesn't it? Perfect. Well, that was a little sharp for my taste, that one there. Um, if we can't bring it off a little bit later. Yeah, something like that is more my vibe, I think. We could also do the same sort of V interchange here, I guess, as well, couldn't we? By... Um, actually allowing people to get back onto um, Inverneg's dual carriageway via that connection there and then change this into two lane. I guess we'll do that. It's extra connectivity, isn't it? I think sometimes it's easy to get lost into the structure of road hierarchy and often just providing as many connections as possible is the better way to go. And then we'll have this as road, and then this can meander up to where I was just saying. We're going to have some low density here. Not too much of it, I don't want it to become like a massive sprawl. We'll save that kind of single family home sprawl for the American build. But uh, just some houses out here that are on the hillside looking over the town. Pretty nice view from up here. Uh, and then I reckon we'll also follow uh, the 
trajectory of the train line here. And we've also got a little bit more work to do. Uh, yeah, bring this very parallel with the train line so it can meet up with this road over here. Again, just to provide a little bit more connectivity for the whole region as the new town begins to converge around all these networks. But I am now rambling for sure. <laughs> so let's do some time lapsing and some detailing. And then we'll be right back.
guys, let's have a little analysis of what's happened around Inverneg, shall we? And then we'll head over to uh, what will one day be Bourbon. So lots more commercial up against the waterfront here with a mix of uh, lower rent housing to find that the lower rent housing is best suited toward kind of highway networks. Uh, very strong Scottish vibes here. If anyone's ever driven through Glasgow, you'll uh, see this sort of thing all the time. So we now have a couple of low rent towers that accompany our little commercial strip along the front. I love how the rail kind of flows all the way through this. We've even got a little bit of texture here as well coming off the car park, which is quite nice. Uh, so a mix and match of high density, and then it spills back into uh, the little wider Inverneg town, which has really come on now. The whole town is really nice, and what a difference those fully grown trees make, right? Uh, sort of what we're waiting for <laughs> around our high school campus here. Just so like waiting for these trees to finally grow. I put it the way I really like it. And then we now have some little hillside suburbia, which you imagine is one of the more uh, sort of luxurious places to live in and around Inverneg, uh, alongside having uh, the little elementary school over here as well to keep trying to make dents uh, within that population that needs uh, elementary education, for which is now 12,000 eligible with only 9,000 capacity. So we do need more of them, uh, but either way, the city is. Not really running into any troubles with that education deficit. You know, there's 287 million in the bank, which is just insane. And over this side as well, we've also got those slip lanes in now as well, which are helping siphon a little bit of traffic off. Uh, but this suburb is like fully connected into the wider network space now around all these little roads that are lingering around. Uh, so plenty of access into them for them. Also dropped in kind of a little mini leisure complex facility. A place where you can come and play two quid to hire out a tennis court for an hour with a little bit of commercial down here as well which again will look a little bit more impactful once all the trees have grown up around it and then this hillside suburbia has little roundabouts in it uh, pathways linking up to different levels a little bit of commercial over here as well looks like one of the student flats <laughs> has just collapsed in a blazing inferno um oh god hearse you just lost 18 people in a building collapse. That's horrendous. Dear me. Also, we might, although, fair play to the hearses, they are very swift. <laughs> not even waiting for the corner. It's straight into the hearse and straight to the graveyard. Uh, Eggenborough's death care is efficient, if anything. Oh, but yes, this hillside is just waiting for all the trees to go up around it so we kind of get this forested, hilly, suburban look uh, across the rest of the facility once it's all grown up. And this kind of rounds off in the neg, I think. I don't think we'll make any more additions. I wanted. And all these trees to grow up around here as well so the kind of industry is sheltered away from the town uh, we will definitely come back here to of course implement more train lines once they're available but uh, i really like the way the whole town's developed all kind of sat around this main dual carriageway it's not gotten too big um, i imagine bourbon is going to come right up to the edge of this forest line eventually one day i don't really want to expand too much kind of eastward toward whiskey uh, but yeah, lots of little connectivity networks. So we'll have a little look at this national road here, which again, I imagine once we come to develop Bourbon, which I think we'll do a road planning episode next week, because um, I really did enjoy those road frame networks. They're a lot of fun to do. Um, yeah, just people moving around here now in pretty easy, smooth fashion. But I envision this is going to turn into probably a four or six lane arterial and probably cut straight through here and link up with the highway. That seems like a good sensible choice to do there, doesn't it? Create an interchange over this way. It will develop a bit more of an American grid over this system. And then getting some really nice, cool waterfront assets here to sit opposite Port Whiskey and Whiskey Town as well. So uh, that should be a really fun build when we get into Bourbon working in a more of a American theme. And we'll get a little transport hub going here as well. So to my surprise, there's actually people driving out here. <laughs> you can see them um, arriving with their pets and their animals. They're walking out of... Uh, bourbon to get to the trams to get back into whiskey. I did not think they would walk uh, that far, but if anything, it's a testament to just how far these Sims will actually walk if they have the option. It's pretty crazy, a lot further than it was in CS1, I think. But at least the scale has come up, but you can see them all coming down here as well. And um, they're all walking along the highway road, so lots of walkability to factor into that build as well when it comes in. I'm like, really happy with how the bridge sits over. Real shame we can't get the train line to cross the shipping lanes at the minute with the currently non-functioning bug in the game it's very very annoying but um one day that's surely going to be patched if not we'll just get the anarchy mod and force it across because i definitely want these train lines to be linked together so we can have mirrored train systems running to and around both towns but 
we'll get to that one day. Well, otherwise, guys, that's going to do it for today. Let's thank you all so much for watching. Uh, pretty kind of fillery episode today. Not a massive build, but Inverneg needed some rounding out on a couple of different sides of the compass on it. And also wanted to tie together all those networks that now feed into the current non-existent town of Bourbon. But next episode, we'll definitely have a road frame setting up highway connections, extending arterials and pulling out space for our major assets to sit as we begin building in more of an American theme in the town of Bourbon, of course, tying in with whiskey and Inverneg and the whole theme we're running with in this map. Otherwise, I hope you're still enjoying our CS2 content. If you have those likes, comments and shares below really do help the channel to grow and show the video to more people. If you have enjoyed it, then leave me a dislike as well. As always, an enormous shout out to the beautiful human beings with fantastic character that are our patrons with a special roll call to Felix Wilkinson. If you're interested in supporting the channel, Instant Gaming, and Patreon links down below. There's a Patreon exclusive podcast, there's previews, there's early access when we can get it. Lots of fun over on the Patreon, so head over there if you're interested in getting a little bit more egg in your life. Otherwise, please do enjoy some cinematics of today's Inverneg completions, and plus that kind of peek across the horizon into Bourbon, which we'll work on next week. Otherwise, let's thank you all so much for watching, and as always, enjoy the rest of your day.